Next contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Done by Kidman reversing the arm ringer, and now Brian Blaze on the 
then nice switch and go behind into the hammerlock. Nice beautiful, and done. beautiful counter with impact as well, using a headbutt to break the wrist to Blaze to get the advantage. Blaze trying to turn back under it again, trying to take control of that arm, and again controls the head of the wild child. Nicely done. Like, like I said, Ryan Blaze can wrestle with the best of them. He brings that element to We Are Three. Of course, Aisha amongst the toughest women anywhere in the world, much less a wrestling ring, and Jeter. You don't have to say a whole lot about Jeter. We Are Three, a brutal, brutal, near unstoppable force in Empire. Blaze trying to keep some sort of separation, trying to get his arm, his body away from Kidman. But again, again, you see taking the wrist again, trying to take the wrist away from Kidman. Extending the arm to reduce the power from Kidman and then takes the arm, twists it up. Nicely done. Brian Blaze would love to pick up the submission on Thursday. The only way one of those teams can lose is if somebody gives up. I can't imagine any of We Are Three. Pandora, Mason, Freyjai, there's a lot of pride going to be in that ring on Thursday. Can you imagine any team giving up? That's a no-quit spot right there on both sides. It's like Kidman again, taking the arm away, really trying to work on the shoulder and arm of Brian Blaze. Nice switch to the headlock again. Both of these guys wrestling a very smart match so far. Trying to negate and take away Brian Blaze's power. Kidman with a quick swat on the top of the head of Blaze. Maybe trying to frustrate Blaze a little. You don't want Blaze frustrated at all. But he's staying focused, turning to that top wrist lock, turning his whole body into it. Kidman, you can tell the look on his face. All that leverage is bending him over to his left. Oh, what a beautiful leverage move by Kidman. And a sidestepping Blaze move to the midsection. Oh, rock him right to the jaw. And Brian Blaze, who's perpetually By him, oh, oh the blades do what he does best. Going low, taking out that leg. Oh, driving the side of that leg, knee and ankle into the canvas. While stepping on the right angle, causing more hyperextension. Look at him just going after that left leg. Could this be Mason, Pandora, or Frigyehai on Thursday? Shane, I'm going to call you out. Who's winning that match? We Are Three has never lost that style of match ever. I definitely got to give them the advantage going into this contest. As they know each other so well, Yehai, kind of a wild card in that Mason-Pandora group. How is he going to gel with Mason and Pandora? But We Are Three can work together so well. We've seen it in the past. And now we're seeing Blaze trying to pop that knee and Joey Kidman right out of its socket. It's great to see Method Man finally arrive at the show. I don't know why he's wearing Marty McFly's vest from Back to the Future, but so he is. He has folks come early. Trying to get Kim on her shin split there, just trying to face that foot right into the canvas. And that's got her shock all the way up her knee, all the way up to the hip. And again, look at him rearing back. He's even exposed the knee of Kidman pulling down that knee brace. But Blaze is not giving up, popping the knee every chance he can. Blaze trying to find, excuse me, Kidman trying to find some way out of this. Somebody to counter the leverage. Can't tell how far he is from the ropes from here, but he can't be very far. Kidman with a lot of pride, but even he's reaching for the ropes on this one. Brian Blaze fighting a very smart technical match. He's trying to get that submission, trying to send out a message to Pandora, Mason, and Frank Yehai. He punches to the face, finally gets Blaze to break the hole, but Kidman not able to get up to his feet yet. Blaze already there. And you do not want to be a wounded animal in the ring with Brian Blaze. He can sense it. Now just driving using that weight advantage, that low center of gravity to put Kidman in the corner. Use that middle rope for leverage again on the exposed knee of Kidman. Referee's gonna have a hard time on this one. The crowd outraged. Driving the knee. Left leg repeatedly again and again. Kidman. Hurt, not able to even put weight on that leg at this point, Shane. He's still tied up right now. Kidman trying to fire back. His forearms, those big haymakers we saw earlier. Able to put a little bit of weight on it. Oh! Drives the 
the head to the knee, but you can see he had to drop that left leg. He's hurt. Oh, the chop to the front. Nicely done by Brian Blaze. I may not like him. I may not respect what VR3 does week after week, but you've got to respect that ability right there. Well, look at that twist in the ankle, putting more pressure on those tendons riding for the leg of Kidman. Kidman in a world of hurt right now, and Blaze firmly in control. Now I know you have no love loss between you and Kim. Had a feud way back when. I'm not even sure most of the audience even remembers it. But Brian Blaze is wrestling so far. It looks to be almost a perfect match. And look at him putting his knee on Kim's knee and pulling up on the ankle. I've never seen that. That is excruciating. Trying to reverse the pressure on that kneecap. Knee does not supposed to bend that way. Kim knows that he's trying everything he can to get out of it. But just a straight slap to the midsection by Brian Blaze, slowly Kidman down again. A series of straight right hands by Kidman to the floating rib of Brian Blaze, the only thing, oh, just savagery. Again, just trying to jam that knee. And you can see, you can see Kidman, that leg is just quivering, but he is calling for it. Is Brian Blaze ready for the masquerade on Thursday? Absolutely, Shane. I think we can agree on that. I would definitely agree, but oh no, no. Single leg boxing like crab, pull him back for that bad wheel. Oh, wow, child. You see how he looks like he was going to take him over with both legs, but he turned that right leg loose because he's been working on the left. Now, all that pressure going to the knee, all that pressure going to the hamstring of the left leg of and Joey Kidman. And a half crab doesn't put as much pressure on the lower back as people think. It puts more pressure on that knee and on that single hip. Just really torques it out of place. Kidman making it to the bottom rope. Trying to climb back up to his feet, and Blaze feeling very upset. He didn't get that, but again, a methodical approach by Blaze right back to it. Brian taking his eyes off the mat for just a moment. I don't care what you say, no matter how focused you are, that front row can make Gandhi take a swing. <laughs> Kidman trying to power Blaze back in the corner, he has some momentum, but a quick kick right to the knee, puts him right back down, and Blaze putting the knee all the way up on the top rope, he's in the top row. I've never seen that before, I get Brian Blaze so innovative, so smart, Kidman though, I got a man impressed, heart to spare from Wild Child, but... Brian Blaze so far all over him. Oh, Blaze charging in. Kidman not there. Kidman hooks him over that full lock. Oh, no, the canvas. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kidman in bad shape right now. Might have too much pain to follow through for a pin. swing. <laughs> but Joey Kidman is up on his feet first. A little bit of a surprise there. Blaze going to come with the boot. Oh, clothesline from Kidman. Back elbow. Joey Kidman unsteady on his feet, but steady enough to knock Brian Blaze down again and again. He absolutely does look wobbly, but he is focused enough to hit those clotheslines, those elbows. Now just waiting for Blaze, a quick boot. Right to the midsection, and he tied up. Oh, spinning neck breaker. Holds on to it, goes right into a cover. Only a two count. Brian Blaze managing to kick out, but Joey Kidman with a little bit of momentum here. And Blaze, look at the eyes on Blaze. Not really sure where he is right now. That neck breaker maneuver right out of nowhere, but Kidman knows exactly where he is. So I hoist him up. Right in the midsection. Kim, I'm not sure where he is. But now Kim is trying to fire back, trying to break the hole from Lays. Hooks him up. Snags him in a cobra clutch with a claw play to the head. Brian Blaze in big trouble. I've never seen it. No, absolutely never seen this before. But it's being effective. Blaze already down to one knee. What do you get a submission out of this? Locking it in, trying to hold on, but Brian Blaze 
Um, very strong, like I said, right at the top of the match. Very strong. Oh, Clem caught that leg with a back kick, caught the knee, and again, just takes the leg out and stomps right on the midsection. Twist him up. Can we go uh, modified cloverleaf? Once again, though, Joe and Kidman, nothing to be ashamed of. Fought a phenomenal match. They cobra clutch with the claw. I thought it was going to win it out of nowhere, Shane. It's insane. An impressive maneuver by Kidman again. The long limbs of Kidman makes that most effective, but just not enough to put away Blaze. Running with that bad wheel. Great Yehi with a huge match later on. Not able to be here at ringside. Got even to Brian Blaze. Or I should reach that for himself. This was a statement match, and I think that statement came through loud and clear. Absolutely, a focused one-on-one -on -one contest. So both these two men needed. And Kim, I looked on his face. Oh, he may have to, have to go back to the meds. He is looking upset. Oh, 